So I recently did a few episodes on making tests for programs. We were doing some, putting some tests in the demo RPG uh, tutorial code along thing that I'm doing. I also asked on a community poll or post uh, if what people use to test, and there were just a few comments that basically said I never test my code. So there are some people out there who don't test, and I just want to address this and uh, kind of give you my thoughts on it in general. And the big thing, the big uh, elephant in the room is, is it okay to not test your code or should you definitely do it? Well, the short answer is you should definitely do it. But also, if it's just something you're working on and probably never going to show anybody else, then it doesn't necessarily matter so much. But if you ever want anybody to take your project seriously, you should probably have tests. It is a red flag for other developers when they look at someone's repo on github and it has no tests they generally will assume that it's probably got bugs that the developer is unaware of and it's sort of just going to be a uh, yeah just something to avoid because there are better well-tested things out there or you could build your own of whatever it is with test so in general yeah you should definitely test and of course the advantage to that for you when you're testing your code is you know that it actually works properly and as you're adding to it and changing things you can just run your old test and make sure everything still works as intended because we all know how it is there's that one meme of the it's like someone pulling down a baby's arm and it moves up the other arm it's like yeah you change one thing things happen in other places sort of a meme in programming where yeah if you change one thing it does weird stuff in other places so you basically just have a great way of testing and making sure everything's working correctly and yeah, there's a little bit of overhead, as there usually is with anything that's worthwhile, where you gotta develop your suite of tests, but then once you have them all made, you don't really have to do anything anymore other than occasionally add to them when you add new features. So it generally comes along with, okay, you're adding some stuff, add the tests that go with it, and voila, you're done. And now people will take your repo more seriously, and you'll know that it works correctly. It's kind of a win-win. So yeah, take the time to add tests, and if you're not, it's probably best to just not mention it, to be honest, because it's also a red flag for any serious company or something. If you're trying to get a job as a developer and they ask you, how do you do your test? And your response is, I don't test. That's that's sort of a, uh, okay, let's not hire this guy type of answer that you're given. So I'm, I just want to say, yeah, you should learn, at least learn some test based. And if someone is asking you at least tell them that you know how and that you prefer to test or something uh, don't say that you never test your code that just makes you look really bad as a developer uh, even if you don't test maybe your main project that you work on that don't you don't show anybody uh, you should still know it and learn how to do it because yeah you're gonna you're gonna be set back if you don't basically in a lot of different ways so uh, that's my rant about testing. I uh, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys around. Peace.